Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In mechanics and geometry, the 3D rotation group, often denoted SO3, is the group of all rotations about the origin of three-dimensional Euclidean space are three under the operation of composition. By definition, a rotation about the origin is a transformation that preserves the origin Euclidean distance, so it is an isometry, an orientation, i.e. handedness, of space. Composing two rotations results in another rotation. Every rotation has a unique inverse rotation, and the identity map satisfies the definition of a rotation. Owing to the above properties, a long composite rotation's associative property, the set of all rotations is a group under composition. Every non-trivial rotation is determined by its axis of rotation, a line through the origin, and its angle of rotation. Rotations are not commutative, for example. Rotating are 90 degrees in the XY plane followed by south 90 degrees in the YZ plane is not the same as S followed by R, making the 3D rotation group a non-abelian group. Moreover, the rotation group has a natural structure as a manifold for which the group operations are smoothly differentiable, so it is in fact a lie. Group. It is compact and has dimension 3. Rotations are linear transformations of R3 and can therefore be represented by matrices once a basis of R3 has been chosen. Specifically, if we choose an orthonormal basis of R3, every rotation is described by an orthogonal 3x3 three three matrix, i.e., a 3x3 three three matrix with real entries which, when multiplied by its transpose, results in the identity matrix with determinant 1. The group SO3 can therefore be identified with the group of these matrices under matrix multiplication. These matrices are known as special orthogonal matrices, explaining the notation SO3. The group SO3 is used to describe the possible rotational symmetries of an object as well as the possible orientations of an object in space. Its representations are important in physics, where they give rise to the elementary particles of integer spin. Length and angle besides just preserving length, rotations also preserve the angles between vectors. This follows from the fact that the standard dot product between two vectors u and v can be written purely in terms of length. See the law of cosines uv equals 1, 2, u plus v2 minus u2 minus v2. It follows that every length preserving linear transformation in R3 preserves the dot product and thus the angle between vectors. Rotations are often defined as linear transformations that preserve the inner product on R3, which is equivalent to requiring them to preserve length. See classical group for a treatment of this more general approach, where SO3 appears as a special case. Orthogonal and rotation matrices, every rotation maps an orthonormal basis of R3 to another orthonormal basis. Like any linear transformation of finite dimensional vector spaces, a rotation can always be represented by a matrix. Let it be a given rotation. With respect to the standard basis E1, E2, E3 over 3, the columns of are given by 1 rupee, Re2, Re3. Since the standard basis is orthonormal, and since R preserves angles and length, the columns of R form another orthonormal basis. This orthonormality condition can be expressed in the form RTR equals RRT equals I where RT denotes the transpose of R, and I is the 3 by 3 identity matrix. Matrices for which this property holds are called orthogonal matrices. The group of all 3 by 3 orthogonal matrices is denoted O3, and consists of all proper and improper rotations. In addition to preserving length, proper rotations must also preserve orientation. A matrix will preserve or reverse orientation according to whether the determinant of the matrix is positive or negative. For an orthogonal matrix R, note that dead RT equals dead R implies dead R 2 equals 1, so that dead R equals plus or minus 1. The subgroup of orthogonal matrices with determinant plus 1 is called a special orthogonal group, denoted so 3. Thus, every rotation can be represented uniquely by an orthogonal matrix with unit determinant. Moreover, since composition of rotations corresponds to matrix multiplication, the rotation group is isomorphic to the special orthogonal group, SO3. Improper rotations correspond to orthogonal matrices with determinant minus 1. 
and they do not form a group because the product of two improper rotations is a proper rotation. Group structure the rotation group is a group under function composition, or equivalently the product of linear transformations. It is a subgroup of the general linear group consisting of all invertible linear transformations of the real three space or three. Furthermore, the rotation group is non-abelian. That is, the order in which rotations are composed makes a difference. For example, a quarter turn around the positive x-axis followed. By a quarter turn around the positive y-axis is a different rotation than the one obtained by first rotating around y and then x. The orthogonal group, consisting of all proper and improper rotations, is generated by reflections. Every proper rotation is the composition of two reflections, a special case of the carton diudon theorem. Complete classification of finite subgroups, the finite subgroups of SO3 are completely classified. Every finite subgroup is isomorphic to either an element of one of two countably infinite families of planar isometries, the cyclic group CN or the dihedral groups D2N, or to one of three other groups. The tetrahedral group is approximately equal to A4, the octahedral group is approximately equal to S4, or the icosahedral. Group is approximately equal to A5. Axis of rotation, every non-trivial proper rotation in three dimensions fixes a unique one-dimensional linear subspace of R3, which is called the axis of rotation. This is Euler's rotation theorem. Each such rotation acts as an ordinary two-dimensional rotation in the plane orthogonal to this axis. Since every two-dimensional rotation can be represented by an angle phi, an arbitrary three-dimensional rotation can be specified by an axis of rotation together with an angle of rotation about this axis. Technically, one needs to specify an orientation for the axis and whether the rotation is taken to be clockwise or counterclockwise with respect to this orientation. For example, counterclockwise rotation about the positive z-axis by angle phi is given. By our z phi equals cosine phi minus sine phi zero sine phi cosine phi zero 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 one. Given a unit vector n in our three and an angle phi, let our phi n represent a counterclockwise rotation about the axis through n with orientation determined by n. Then our zero n is the identity transformation for any n r phi n equals r minus phi minus n r pi plus phi n equals r pi minus phi minus n. Using these properties, one can show that any rotation can be represented by a unique angle phi in the range zero less than or equal to phi less than or equal to pi in a unit vector n such that n is arbitrary if phi equals zero n is unique if zero phi pi n is unique up to a sign if phi equals pi, that is, the rotations are pi plus or minus n are identical. In the next section, this representation of rotations is used to identify SO3 topologically with three-dimensional real projective space. Topology the Lie group SO3 is diffeomorphic to the real projective space P3R. Consider the solid ball in R3 of radius pi, that is, all points of R3 of distance pi or less from the origin. Given the above, for every point in this ball there is a rotation with axis through the point and the origin and rotation angle equal to the distance of the point from the origin. The identity rotation corresponds to the point at the center of the ball. Rotation through an angle theta between zero and pi, not including either, are on the same axis at the same distance. Rotation through angles between zero and minus pi correspond to the point on the same axis and distance from the origin, but on the opposite side of the origin. The one remaining issue is that the two rotations through pi and through minus pi are the same. So we identify or glue together antipodal points on the surface of the ball. After this identification, we arrive at a topological space homeomorphic to the rotation group. Indeed, the ball with antipodal surface points identified is a smooth manifold, and this manifold is diffeomorphic to the rotation group. It is also diffeomorphic to the real three-dimensional projective space P3, R, so the latter can also serve as a topological model for the rotation group. These identifications illustrate that SO3 is connected but not simply connected. As to the latter, in the ball with antipodal surface points identified, consider the path running from the North Pole straight through the interior, down to the South Pole, 
This is a closed loop since the North Pole and the South Pole are identified. This loop cannot be shrunk to a point since no matter how it is deformed, the start and end point have to remain antipodal or else the loop will break open. In terms of rotations, this loop represents a continuous sequence of rotations about the z-axis starting by example, at the identity center of the ball, through the south pole, jumping to the north pole, and ending again at the identity rotation, i.e., a series of rotation through an angle phi where phi runs from 0 to 2 pi. Surprisingly, running through the path twice, i.e., running from the north pole down to the south pole, jumping back to the north pole, using the fact that north and south poles are identified, and then again running from the North Pole down to the South Pole, so that phi runs from 0 to 4 pi, gives a closed loop which can be shrunk to a single point. First move the paths continuously to the ball surface, still connecting North Pole to South Pole twice. The second path can then be mirrored over to the antipodal side without changing the path at all. Now we have an ordinary closed loop on the surface of the ball, connecting the North Pole to itself along a great circle. This circle can be shrunk to the North Pole without problems. The plate trick and similar tricks demonstrate this practically. The same argument can be performed in general, and it shows that the fundamental group of SO3 is the cyclic group of order 2, a fundamental group, with two elements. In physics applications, the non-triviality, more than one element, of the fundamental group allows for the existence of objects known as spinors and is an important tool in the development of the spin statistics theorem. The universal cover of SO3 is a Lie group called spin3. The group spin3 is isomorphic to the special unitary group SU2. It is also diffeomorphic to the unit 3 sphere S3 and can be understood as the group of versors, quaternions with absolute value 1. The connection between quaternions and rotations commonly exploited in computer graphics, is explained in quaternions and spatial rotations. The map from S3 onto SO3 that identifies antipodal points of S3 is a surjective homomorphism of Lie groups with kernel plus or minus one. Topologically, this map is a two to one covering map. See the plate trick. Connection between SO3 and SU2 in this section, we give two different constructions of a 2 to 1 and surjective homomorphism of SU2 onto SO3. Using quaternions of unit norm the group SU2 is isomorphic to the quaternions of unit norm via a map given by Q equals a 1 plus BI plus CJ plus DK equals alpha plus beta J left right arrow, alpha beta minus beta alpha equals you restricted to a 2 plus B2 plus C2 plus D2 equals alpha 2 plus beta 2 equals 1 backslash textile, a caret 2 plus B caret, 2 plus C caret 2 plus D caret 2 equals backslash alpha caret 2 plus backslash beta caret 2 equals 1 where Q is an element of H backslash textile Q backslash and backslash math HAB. C D is an element of our backslash textile B C. D backslash and backslash math or U is an element of SU. 2 backslash textile u backslash and backslash operator names u, 2. And alpha equals a plus bi is an element of c. Beta equals c plus d i is an element of c. Let us now identify our three with the span of i, j, k. One can then verify that if v is in our three and q is a unit quaternion, then q v q minus one is an element of our three. Furthermore, the map v q v q minus one is a rotation of our three. Moreover, minus QV, minus Q, minus 1 is the same as QVQ minus 1. This means that there is a 2 colon 1 homomorphism from quaternions of unit norm to the 3D rotation group, so 3. One can work this homomorphism out explicitly. The unit quaternion, Q, with Q equals W plus X, I plus YJ plus ZK, 1 equals W2 plus X2 plus Y2 plus Z2, is mapped to the rotation matrix Q equals 1 minus 2, Y2 minus 2, Z2, 2, X, Y minus 2, Z, W, 2, X, Z plus 2, Y, W, 2, X, Y plus 2, Z, W, 1 minus 2, X, 2 minus 2, Z, 2, 2, Y, Z minus 2, X, W, 2, X, Z minus 2, Y, W, 2, Y, Z plus 2, X, W, 1 minus 2, X, 2 minus 2, Y, 2. This is a rotation around the vector X, Y, Z by an angle 2 theta where cosine theta equals w and sine theta equals x, y, z. The proper sign for sin theta is implied, 
once the signs of the axis components are fixed. The 2 colon 1. Nature is apparent since both Q and minus Q map to the same Q. Using Mobius transformations, the general reference for this section is Gelfand, Minlos, and Shapiro, 1963. The points P on the sphere S equals X, Y, Z is an element of R3. X2 plus Y2 plus Z2 equals 1, 4 can, barring the North Pole N, be put into 1 to 1 bijection. With points S, P equals P on the plane M defined by Z equals minus 1 half, C figure. The map S is called stereographic projection. Let the coordinates on M be psi, eta. The line L passing through N and P can be parametrized as L, T, equals N plus T, and minus P, equals 0, 0, 1, 2 plus T, 0, 0, 1, 2 minus X, Y, Z. T is an element of R. Demanding that the Z coordinate of L, T0, equals minus 1 half, one finds T0 equals 1Z minus 1, 2. We have L, T0, equals psi, eta, minus 1 slash 2. Hence the map, S, S and P equals X, Y, Z, P equals psi, eta equals X1, 2 minus Z, Y1, 2 minus Z, is identical to zeta equals psi plus I, eta, where, for later convenience, the plane M is identified with the complex plane C. For the inverse, write L, as L equals N plus S, P minus N, equals 0, 0, 1, 2 plus S, Psi, Eta, minus 1, 2, minus 0, 0, 1, 2, and demand X2 plus Y2 plus Z2 equals 1 quarter to find S equals 1 slash 1 plus Z2 plus Eta 2, and thus is minus 1. MSP equals Psi, Eta, P equals X, Y, Z, equals Psi 1 plus Psi, 2 plus eta 2. Eta 1 plus psi 2 plus eta 2. Minus 1 plus psi 2 plus eta 2 2 plus 2 psi 2 plus 2 eta 2. If G is an element of so, 3 is a rotation, then it will take points on S to points on S by its standard action pius. G on the embedding space are 3. By composing this action with S, one obtains a transformation S ring operator pius. G ring operator S minus 1 of M. Zeta equals P, P pi S, G, P equals G, P S, G, P, is identical to pi U, G, Zeta equals Zeta. Thus pi U, G, is a transformation of C, associated to the transformation pi S, G, of R3. It turns out that G is an element of so, 3, represented in this way by pi U, G, can be expressed as a matrix pi U, G, is an element of SU2, where the notation is recycled to use the same name for the matrix as for the transformation of C it represents. To identify this matrix, consider first a rotation G phi about the z-axis through an angle phi. X equals X cosine phi minus Y sine phi. Y equals X sine phi plus Y cosine phi. Z equals Z. Hence zeta equals X plus I Y 1 2 minus Z equals E I phi X plus I Y. 1, 2 minus Z equals EI phi, zeta equals EI phi, 2 zeta plus 0, 0, zeta plus E minus I phi 2, which, unsurprisingly, is a rotation in the complex plane. In an analogous way, if G theta is a rotation about the x-axis through an angle theta, then W equals EI theta W, W equals Y plus IZ 1, 2 minus X, which, after a little algebra, becomes zeta equals cosine theta 2 zeta plus i sine theta 2 i sine theta 2 zeta plus cosine theta 2. These two rotations, g phi, g theta, thus correspond to bilinear transforms of R2 is asymptotically equal to C is asymptotically equal to M, namely, they are examples of Mobius transformations. A general Mobius transformation is given by zeta equals alpha zeta plus beta gamma zeta plus delta, Alpha delta minus beta gamma is not equal to zero. The rotations G phi, G theta generate all of so three. And the composition rules of the Mobius transformation show that any composition of G phi, G theta translates to the corresponding composition of Mobius transformations. The Mobius transformations can be represented by matrices alpha, beta, gamma, delta, alpha, delta, vita, gamma, n, since a common factor of alpha, vita, gamma, delta cancels. For the same reason, 
The matrix is not uniquely defined, since multiplication by minus has no effect on either the determinant or the Mobius transformation. The composition law of Mobius transformations follow that of the corresponding matrices. The conclusion is that each Mobius transformation corresponds to two matrices G, minus G is an element of SL, 2C. Using this correspondence will mean a PU, Z, PU, cosi mi desin cos mi de mi de mi de nena, a idio mi de mi de idio, PU, Z theta, PU, ena mi de mi de mi de cos theta, sin theta mi de sin theta cos theta. Cos theta dio i sin theta dio i sin theta dio cos theta dio. These matrices are unitary and thus pi u so 3, subset of SU, 2, subset of SL, 2C. In terms of Euler angles, one finds for a general rotation one has for the converse. Consider a general matrix plus or minus pi u, g alpha, beta, equals plus or minus alpha beta minus beta alpha, is an element of SU2. Make this substatusans cos theta dio alpha, sin theta dio vita, mi then theta pi, psi dio erg alpha, psi dio erg vita. With the substitutions, pi g alpha, beta, assumes the form of the right-hand side, RHS of 2, which corresponds under pi u to a matrix on the form of the RHS of 1, with the same phi, theta, psi. In terms of the complex parameters alpha, beta, g alpha, beta equals, 1, 2. Alpha dio vita dio jalpha dio vita dio i dio. Alpha dio vita dio jalpha dio ch vita dio. Alpha vita alpha vita i dio. Alpha dio vita dio alpha dio ch vita dio en dio. Alpha dio ch vita dio jalpha dio ch vita dio i. Alpha vita alpha vita. Alpha vita jalpha vita i. Alpha vita jalpha vita alpha alpha. Vita vita. To verify this, substitute for alpha. Beta the elements of the matrix on the RHS of 2. Homomorphism. It is hence an explicit description of the universal covering space of SO 3 from the universal covering group SU2. Lie algebra associated with every Lie group is its Lie algebra, a linear space of the same dimension as the Lie group, closed under a bilinear alternating product called the Lie bracket. The Lie algebra of SO 3 is denoted by SO 3 and consists of all skew symmetric 3 by 3 matrices. This may be seen by differentiating the orthogonality condition. ATA equals I A is an element of SO3. The Lie bracket of two elements of SO3 is, as for the Lie algebra of every matrix group given by the matrix commutator, A1, A2 equals A1, A2 minus A2, A1, which is again a skew symmetric matrix. The Lie algebra bracket captures the the essence of the Lie group product in a sense made precise by the Baker, Campbell, Hostor formula. The elements of SO3 are the infinitesimal generators of rotations, i.e., they are the elements of the tangent space of the manifold SO3 at the identity element. If R phi n denotes a counterclockwise rotation with angle phi about the axis specified by the unit vector n, then for all u is an element of R3. DD phi phi equals zero R phi N U equals N times U. This can be used to show that the Lie algebra S03 with commutator is isomorphic to the Lie algebra R3 with cross product. Under this isomorphism, an Euler vector omega is an element of R3 corresponds to the linear map omega. Defined by omega U equals omega times U. In more detail, most often a suitable basis for SO3 as a three-dimensional vector space is LX equals 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. LY equals 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0. LZ equals 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. The commutation relations of these basis elements are LX, LY equals LZ, LZ, LX equals LY. Ly, Lz, equals Lx, which agree with the relations of the three standard unit vectors of R3 under the cross product. As announced above, one can identify any matrix in this Lie algebra with an Euler vector omega equals x, y, z, is an element of R3, omega caret equals omega L, equals x, L, x plus y, L, y plus z, L, z equals 0 minus z, y, z, 0 minus x minus y, x, 0. 
is an element of SO3. This identification is sometimes called the hat map. Under this identification, the SO3 bracket corresponds in our three to the cross product, U caret, V caret equals U times V caret. The matrix identified with a vector U has the property that U caret V equals U times V. Where the left-hand side, we have ordinary matrix multiplication. This implies U is in the null space of the skew symmetric matrix with which it is identified because U times U equals zero. A note on Lie algebras and Lie algebra representations. The group SO3 is compact and simple of rank one, and so it has a single. Independent Casimir element, a quadratic invariant function of the three generators which commutes with all of them. The killing form for the rotation group is just the Kronecker delta. And so this Casimir invariant is simply the sum of the squares of the generators, Jx, Jy, Jz, of the algebra Jx, Jy equals Jz, Jz, Jx equals Jy, Jy, Jz equals Jx. That is, the Casimir invariant is given by J2 is identical to Jj equals Jx2 plus Jy2 plus Jz2 is proportional to I. For unitary irreducible representations dj, the eigenvalues of this invariant are real and discrete and characterize each representation, which is finite dimensional, of dimensionality 2j plus 1. That is, the eigenvalues of this Casimir operator are j2 equals minus j, j plus 1, i2j plus 1, where j is integer or half integer and referred to as the spin or angular momentum. So, the three by three generators L displayed above act on the triplet spin one representation, while the two by two generators below T act on the doublet spin one slash two representation. By taking Kronecker products of D one slash two with itself repeatedly, one may construct all higher irreducible representations DJ. That is, the resulting generators for higher spin systems in three spatial dimensions, for arbitrarily large J, can be calculated using these spin operators and ladder operators. For every unitary irreducible representations DJ, there is an equivalent one, D minus J minus one, all infinite dimensional. Irreducible representations must be non-unitary since the group is compact. In quantum mechanics, the Casimir invariant is the angular momentum squared operator. Integer values of spin J characterize bosonic representations, while half integer values fermionic representations. The antihermitian matrices used above are utilized as spin operators after they are multiplied by I. So they are now hermitian, like the Pauli matrices. Thus, in this language, Jx, Jy equals Ijz, Jz, Jx equals Ijy, Jy, Jz equals Ijx. And hence J, 2 equals J, J plus 1, I2, J plus 1. Explicit expressions for these DJ are Jzj, B A equals J plus 1 minus A, delta B, A Jx J, B A equals 1, 2, delta B, A plus 1 plus delta B plus 1, J plus 1, A plus B minus 1, minus A B, J Y J, B A equals 1, 2 I, delta B, A plus 1 minus delta B plus 1, J plus 1, A plus B minus 1, minus a b where j is arbitrary and 1 less than or equal to a, b less than or equal to 2j plus 1. For example, the resulting spin matrices for spin 1, j equals 1, are jx equals 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. jy equals 1, 2, 0 minus i0, i0 minus i0, i0. jz equals 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 1. Note, however, how these are in an equivalent but different basis, the spherical basis, than the above IL and the Cartesian basis. Four higher spins, such as spin three halves, J equals three two JX equals one two. Zero two zero zero two zero two zero zero two zero two zero zero two zero. Yote równa się jeden dwie. Zero i trzy zero zero i trzy zero dwie i zero zero dwie i zero i trzy zero zero i trzy zero. Yote równa się jeden dwie. 
I five zero J Z equals one two five zero 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 three zero 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 one zero 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 minus one zero 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 minus three zero 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 minus five isomorphism with two the Lie algebras S O three and S U two are isomorphic one basis for S U two is given by t1 equals 1, 2, 0, minus i minus i0, t2 equals 1, 2, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, t3 equals 1, 2, minus i0, 0, 0, i. These are related to the Pauli matrices by t, i1, 2, i sigma i. The Pauli matrices abide by the physicist's convention for Lie algebras. In that convention, Lie algebra elements are multiplied by i, the exponential map below, is defined with an extra factor. Of i and the exponent and the structure constants remain the same, but the definition of them acquires a factor of i. Likewise, commutation relations acquire a factor of i. The commutation relations for the ti are ti, tj equals epsilon ij ktk, where ij is the totally anti-symmetric symbol with epsilon 1, 2, 3 equals 1. The isomorphism between SO3 and SU2 can be set up in several ways. For later convenience, SO3 and SU2 are identified by mapping LXT1, LYT2, LZT3, and extending by linearity. Exponential map, the exponential map for SO3 is since SO3 is a matrix Lie group defined using the standard matrix exponential series. SO3. A e a rovnitko k rovnitko nula jedno. A k rovnitko i plus a plus jedna dva a dva plus. For any skew symmetric matrix A is an element of 3, E A is always in so 3. The proof uses the elementary properties of the matrix exponential. E A. T A equals E A T E A equals E A T plus A equals E minus A plus A equals E A minus A equals E A. E A. T equals E zero equals I. Since the matrices A and A commute, this can be easily proven with the skew symmetric matrix condition. This is not enough to show that 3 is the corresponding Lie algebra for SO3 and shall be proven separately. The level of difficulty of proof depends on how a matrix group Lie algebra is defined. Hall, 2003, defines the Lie algebra as the set of matrices A is an element of M, N, R, ETA is an element of SO. 3, for all t, in which case it is trivial. Rossman, 2002, uses for a definition derivatives of smooth curve segments in SO3 through the identity taken at the identity, in which case it is harder. For a fixed A is not equal to 0, ETA minus infinity t infinity is a one-parameter subgroup along a geodesic in SO3. That this gives a one-parameter subgroup follows directly from properties of the exponential map. The exponential map provides a diffeomorphism between a neighborhood of the origin in the 3 and a neighborhood of the identity in the SO3. For a proof, see closed subgroup theorem. The exponential map is surjective. This follows from the fact that every R is an element of SO3 since every. Rotation leaves an axis fixed Euler's rotation theorem and is conjugate to a block diagonal matrix of the form D equals cosine theta minus sine theta zero sine theta cosine theta zero 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 one equals e theta lz such that it equals bdb minus one and that be e theta lzb minus one equals eb theta lzb minus one together with the fact that three is closed under the adjoint action of so three meaning that b theta lzb minus one is an element of three thus e.g. It is easy to check the popular identity e minus pi lx slash 2 e theta l z pi lx slash 2 equals e theta ly. As shown above, every element a is an element of 3 is associated with a vector omega equals theta u, where u equals x, y, z is a unit magnitude vector. Since u is in the null space of a if one now rotates to a new basis through 
some other orthogonal matrix O, with U as the z-axis, the final column and row of the rotation matrix in the new basis will be zero. Thus, we know in advance from the formula for the exponential that exp, odo e, must leave you fixed. It is mathematically impossible to supply a straightforward formula for such a basis as a function of u, because its existence would violate the Harry Ball theorem. But direct exponentiation is possible and yields exp omega equals exp theta ul equals exp theta zero minus z y zero minus x minus y x zero equals i plus two c s ul plus two s two ul two equals two x two minus one s two plus one two x y s two minus two z c s two x z s two plus two y c s two x y s two plus two z c s two y two minus one s two plus one two y z s two minus two x c s two x z s two minus two y c s two y z s two plus two x c s two z two minus one S2 plus 1, where C equals cosine theta 2 backslash textile, C equals backslash cosine backslash frac backslash theta. To an S equals sine theta 2 backslash textile, S equals backslash sine backslash frac backslash theta 2. This is recognized as a matrix for a rotation around axis U by the angle theta. CF Rodriguez rotation formula. Logarithm map given R is an element of so 3, let A equals 1, 2, R minus or T. Denote the anti-symmetric part and let a equals minus one two t r a two backslash textile backslash a backslash equals backslash ash backslash frac one backslash operator name tar backslash left a caret two backslash right da then the logarithm of r is given by log r equals sin minus one a a a this is manifest by inspection of the mixed symmetry form of Rodriguez formula. E x equals i plus sin theta theta x plus two sin two theta two theta two x two theta equals x, where the first and last term on the right hand side are symmetric. Uniform random sampling S O three is doubly covered by the group of unit quaternions, which is isomorphic to the three sphere. Since the Haar measure on the unit quaternions is just the three area measure in four dimensions, the Haar measure on S O three is just the push forward of the three area measure. Consequently, generating a uniformly random rotation in R3 is equivalent to generating a uniformly random point on the three sphere. This can be accomplished by the following, one minus u one sin, two pi u two, one minus u one cosine, two pi u two, u one sine, two pi u three, u one cosine, two pi u three, where u one, u two, u three are uniformly random samples of zero one. Baker, Campbell, Hostor formula suppose x and y in the Lie algebra are given. Their exponentials, exp, x, and exp, y, are rotation matrices, which can be multiplied. Since the exponential map is a surjection, for some z in the Lie algebra, exp z equals exp x, exp y, and one may tentatively write z equals c, x, y, for c some expression in x and y. When exp, x, and exp, y, commute, then z equals x plus y, mimicking the behavior of complex exponentiation. The general case is given by the more elaborate BCH formula, a series expansion of nested lie. Brackets. For matrices, the lie bracket is the same operation as the commutator, which monitors lack of commutativity and multiplication. This general expansion unfolds as follows. z equals cx, y, equals x plus y plus 1, 2, x, y plus 1, 12, x, x, y, minus 1, 12, y, x, y, plus midline horizontal ellipsis. The infinite expansion in the BCH formula for so, 3, reduces to a compact form, z equals alpha x plus beta, y plus gamma, x, y, for suitable trigonometric function coefficients, alpha, beta, gamma. It is worthwhile to write this composite rotation generator as alpha x plus beta y plus gamma x y equals so3 x plus y plus 1 2 x y plus 1 12 x x y minus 1 12 y x y plus midline horizontal ellipsis to emphasize that this is a lie algebra identity. The above identity holds for all faithful representations of 3.
The kernel of a Lie algebra homomorphism is an ideal, but three, being simple, has no non-trivial ideals and all non-trivial representations are hence faithful. It holds in particular in the doublet or spiner representation. The same explicit formula thus follows in a simpler way through poly matrices. CF the 2 by 2 derivation for SU2. For the general n times n case, one might use ref. Infinitesimal rotations, realizations of rotations, we have seen that there are a variety of ways to represent rotations as orthogonal matrices with determinant 1, by axis and rotation angle and quaternion algebra with versors and the map 3 sphere S3 so 3, see quaternions and spatial rotations, in geometric algebra as a rotor as A. Sequence of three rotations about three fixed axes, see Euler angles. Spherical harmonics, the group so 3, of three-dimensional Euclidean rotations has an infinite dimensional representation on the Hilbert space L2, S2, equals span YM, is an element of n plus, minus, less than or equal m, less than or equal to, where ym are spherical harmonics. Its elements are square, integrable, complex-valued functions on the sphere. The inner product on this space is given by if f is an arbitrary square, integrable function defined on the unit sphere S2, then it can be expressed as where the expansion coefficients are given by the Lorentz group action restricts to that of so 3, and is expressed as this action is unitary, meaning that the d can be Obtained from the D, M, N of above using Klebsch, Gordon decomposition, but they are more easily directly expressed as an exponential of an odd dimensional SU2 representation. The three dimensional one is exactly three. In this case, the space L2S2 decomposes neatly into an infinite direct sum of irreducible odd finite dimensional representations V2I plus one, I equals zero, one. According to this is characteristic of infinite dimensional unitary representations of SO3. If pi is an infinite dimensional unitary representation on a separable Hilbert space, then it decomposes as a direct sum of finite dimensional unitary representations. Such a representation is thus never irreducible. All irreducible finite dimensional representations, pi, v, can be made unitary by an appropriate choice of inner product, f, GU is identical to integral so 3 pi RF pi R GDG equals 1 8 pi 2 integral 0 2 pi integral 0 pi integral 0 2 pi pi RF pi R G sin theta d phi d theta d psi F G is an element of V where the integral is the unique invariant integral over so 3 normalized to 1 here expressed using the Euler angles parametrization the inner product inside the integral is any inner product on V Generalizations the rotation group generalizes quite naturally to n-dimensional Euclidean space, or n with its standard Euclidean structure. The group of all proper and improper rotations in n-dimensions is called the orthogonal group O n, and the subgroup of proper rotations is called the special orthogonal group so n, which is a lie group of dimension n, n minus 1, slash 2. In special relativity, one works in a four-dimensional vector space known as Minkowski space rather than three-dimensional Euclidean space. Unlike Euclidean space, Minkowski space has an inner product with an indefinite signature. However, one can still define generalized rotations which preserve this inner product. Such generalized rotations are known as Lorentz transformations, and the group of all such transformations is called the Lorentz group. The rotation group, so, three, can be described as a subgroup of E plus three, the Euclidean group of direct isometries of Euclidean R3. This larger group is the group of all motions of a rigid body. Each of these is a combination of a rotation about an arbitrary axis and a translation, or put differently, a combination of an element of SO3 and an arbitrary translation. In general, the rotation group of an object is the symmetry group within the group of direct isometries. In other words, the intersection of the full symmetry group and the group of direct isometries. For chiral objects, it is the same as the full symmetry group.